Hey Aquarius, welcome back. And to any new viewers, welcome. I am Simone de Goddess. This is Case of the X, part two. All right, I started this. I did um, this for the first time in September last year. And I thought to myself, you know what? During Mercury Retrograde, this is the head time where you want to know what's happening because X's pop up. And you hear this blanket statement of, you know, never go back to your ex or when your ex pops up, you need to like, shut them down and da 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 and for me that's such a blanket statement because not everybody's ex is the same scenario not everybody some exes need to be cut for sure but there's some situations where y'all didn't end up bad turns where it was just down to timing where it was just down to you know outside influence or um whatever your scenario is so there's no real cookie cutter as i've been saying scenario you have to know what your situation is and also be honest don't be watching this video when you know that you and your ex need to go your all separate ways and you know hold on to that like yeah yeah you know what i mean like know what your situation is and be truthful to yourself did it make you feel expansive did you and this person were was in an expansive connection or were y'all contracting you know you know what i mean so as i always say these are general messages Take what resonates and you leave the rest, all right? So let's look into this, all right? So Spirit Guys, what are the messages you want me to share with Aquarius regarding case of the X? May all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to none. Always. Ashe. Amen. So it is. If there's anybody interested in connecting with me for a personal reading, my details are in the description box. My contact details are down below. Also, please check the community tab to see if you are one of the winners for February's giveaway. March's giveaway is here. If you are interested in um, getting involved, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, drop a comment below. You're in the giveaway, all right? Like the video, my loves. All right, let's see what's at the root of the matter for Aquarius and their ex. Thank you. The root of the matter is the Ten of Pentacles. So I don't know, was family involved in some way? Maybe it was work, lots of work. People were working a lot. Stacking money, not really, you know, connected, um, paying attention to the relationship. It could be down to materials, like material or people outside of you. Kind of was at the root of this matter. Let's see. How is Aquarius feeling about their ex? How's Aquarius feeling about their ex? Like, make it clear, please. How's Aquarius feeling about their ex, Spirit Guides? Thank you. Scattered. Scattered. Like this situation made you feel scattered. There's a sense of y'all's energy feeling quite scattered. The death card is here. All right. So perhaps it's a sense of because from death comes life. So the death card, this is a beautiful energy. This five of wands, maybe you felt as if there was some kind of competition when it comes to you and your ex. Maybe you felt as if you were competing for their um, attention because they were very much focused on work or maybe it was the other way around, like you were the one focused on work. But right now there's a sense of, I don't know, you felt there's a sense of either feeling scattered or a sense of there was some kind of, there was no match. I don't know what that means. I just heard there was no match. The death card here, that could be Scorpio energy. But there's a sense of maybe you want a, a, a new chance with them, but you feel kind of back and forth and conflicted about it for some reason. Oh my gosh, I was I just said maybe you feel as if you want another chance with them, but you're conflicted. And the Ace of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So that's new love. Let's see how they're feeling about you. How's Aquarius this person feeling about them? Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius. Wow. Also, the root of this matter, as much as this is about work, it could be about family, etc. The Ten of Pentacles when it comes to love is a committed relationship. You know, so maybe the root of this matter was that y'all had something beautiful. And this is an energy that came through for Taurus as well where I felt as if it was just down to divine timing, you know, or a cycle that ended, but there, it didn't feel as if there was any animosity between the two of them. So here's this Wheel of Fortune and how they're seeing you. I feel as if it, the Wheel of Fortune, this is like 
opportunities, this is success, luck. It's a beautiful, expansive energy. It's Jupiter, so it's all about, um, it's, it's, Jupiter is the great benefic. So I don't know if they see you, Aquarius, as, as an asset. That's beautiful. Sun of Cups at the bottom. Yeah, I feel as if they see you as an asset here. What's the potential obstacles or blockages for this connection? Okay, so you have a Mother of Wands showing up here. And you have Seven of Pentacles. So does this person have children with somebody else? And, or, yeah, their, their ex. It's almost as if their ex created some kind of blockage or obstacle for y'all. You know, maybe that's why their time and energy went into something else. Maybe that's why they were working so hard because it was like trying to get that money in order to support their relationship, their children or and, you know, their past relationship. Like, there's a sense of somebody holding on really tightly here with this mother of wands. This could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius or Aries energy. The seven of pentacles is a sense of being exhausted drained stressed right is is i just i feel as if this and it was just 707 i just feel as if this person it was like they're trying to figure out how to make everything work or you were trying to figure out how to make everything work because it's general so it can go either way you drop a comment let me know how this resonates but potential obstacle or blockage i feel as if somebody was holding on real tight could be a feminine energy doesn't have to be Either the mother or father of their children or their own mother or a maternal um, influence could have been getting involved in some way here. Is it a family business? What's their ex likely to do? What's Aquarius's ex likely to do, spirit guides, in this situation? What's their ex likely to do here? Eight of Cups, oh my gosh. The Eight of Cups is here and the Two of Cups. Who are they walking away from? The Eight of Cups, this is something broken, right? Something that will never go the same way. And the Two of Cups. So I don't know if they've been like trying to get out of whatever this situation was that kind of had them trapped, so to speak. It's like they're trying to move on from it to pursue new love. To pursue a new connection here. It's, I don't, and I'm assuming this is a connection with you, Aquarius. Um, they're definitely walking away with something. Walking away from something to pursue something new. And considering that they're seeing you as the wheel of fortune. It's like they're seeing you as an opportunity. So I see that this is you that they're looking to walk away. Walk towards. Right? Not necessarily walk away from something. But walk towards something. They're walking towards love connection wow that's deep that's deep <laughs> the eight of wands cupid's arrows when it comes to love readings the eight of wands cupid's arrows like wow okay okay what's the word of advice for aquarius The judgment card. Wow, Aquarius, that's deep. That's beautiful. This is commitment. This is a re resurrection. And also, you know what's beautiful? The death card. This is, like I said, this is Scorpio. So this is Mars energy. This is Pluto energy. This is a transformation, a rebirth. Okay? From death comes life. And here is the judgment card, which is Pluto. Yeah, again. The gen regeneration, a resurrection, an awakening. Like every time I see this card, I hear the angels. Oh, <laughs> right. So your word of advice being the judgment card. This is about commitment when it comes to relationships. Also trusting your judgment because the energy that you have regarding this person is a sense of kind of being conflicted, but wanting something to be reborn here, wanting a new life from this connection with this person, right? And your word of advice is like, trust your judgment, okay? As well as understanding that there's always divine timing to everything here. And this is like, this has been a divine connection here. Judgment, wow, that's deep.
The Ten of Wands is here. Yeah, some illumination is happening. Like if you've been confused about this situation and feeling conflicted, all of this is about to be cleared up. This Ten of Wands, this sense of not being able to see clearly. Because if you look, you see all this darkness here. And then there's like a light, right? There's like a light being shone here. Let's see what's the final outcome for you. What's the final outcome for Aquarius in this situation? The Son of Pentacles. Wow, Knight of Pentacles. What about the Son of Pentacles, Spirit, guys? Is this person you're dealing with an Earth sign, Aquarius? You have the Five of Swords, you have the Three of Cups, and you have the Four of Pentacles. The Son of Pentacles, this is a methodical energy, all right? This is somebody who's thinking long and hard. Okay, this is this is not willy nilly. This is something that has been this is something that has been thought over, weighed, measured, um, observed, drew up plans. T square came out, calculator, ruler, everything. This isn't random. All right, this person's energy, this situation is actually coming from a really solid, stable place. This five of swords. There's still a sense of being. They, I feel as if either you or this person feels as if they might have to cut themselves in half in order to pursue this situation though. They still have that sense of, there's still a, a sense of conflict here. I feel that although there is that sense of conflict or potential conflict maybe with their ex, that them, they themselves with their ex, they still are willing to push through with the three of cups here and this four of pentacles being four of pentacles is all about a sense of con um containment a sense of making things flow right the three of cups is a celebration energy a celebratory energy just wanting beautiful they just want happiness we've got three four and five here so like i said this person this is a very measured conclusion an outcome they got the four of cups here so whatever they're doing they're very mindful again it's not willy-nilly they're they're very prudent they don't just make random decisions here the ten of pentacles so is this person a taurus virgo or capricorn because they got pentacles showing up everywhere or they're just a very stable energy let's pull some oracles and see what else comes up for you Spirit guys, thank you for those messages for Aquarius. What other messages do you have for them regarding this situation with their ex? What are the other messages you want me to share with Aquarius? Thank you. I didn't get to see what that is. And I have two more cards for Aquarius for you guys with their ex. Thank you. Wow. Can I have one more card for Aquarius for you guys? I have one more card for Aquarius. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Aquarius. Wow. Bottom of the deck is forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. All right. You have top of the deck soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And down the middle for Aquarius, new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. All right. You got past life relationship here. Wow. Okay, so let's see. The first card that came up for you is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This showed up for Pisces, I feel. Pisces or Taurus. Hmm. Now, what made me go, wow, was finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Right? And like I said, the, the obstacle or blockage, the seven of pentacles, the sense of planting seeds, but not seeing the outcome of what you want to manifest, you know, potentially feeling pessimistic or, st or stressed about money, you know. Um, the wheel of fortune. This could be about money as well. 
wanting things to flow, wanting expansion to happen. I don't know, maybe they felt as if they weren't able to give you everything that you need. Be, the root of the matter being the Ten of Pentacles, definitely about money here again. Wow. And you have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. <laughs> Aquarius. You can't make it up. I did say the Eight of Cups and this Two of Cups. Drop a comment below, Aquarius. Let me know what's happening. If this is resonating, what's your story? If this doesn't resonate, this is not your message, my loves, okay? So don't force it. Okay, that's two cards that came out. Can I have one more, please? These cards are so tricky to, to shuffle. Thank you. All right, so you have, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. All right, you have, acceptance is a key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our con control. All right, and your last card is embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Okay, embrace. And it's crazy because look, this Eight of Cups is about like broken pieces, missing pieces. All right, Aquarius, that's your message for Case of the X. Drop a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you're feeling the vibe. Let me know how this is working for you. And um, much love to you, Aquarius. Until next video, later.